Welcome back to the channel, everybody. It's your boy, MasterMindX, and we got a little quandary today, a little bit of a discussion piece that I'd like to have. Hopefully we can get some Star Wars or Lego execs to watch the video, right? But I want to discuss with you today these new helmet series from Star Wars Lego. It seems like every year now we're getting another set of helmets that are coming out and some of them aren't even helmets they're actually uh, figurine heads if you want to technically speak about it because you know the one that we're actually doing today is just a robot's head it's not his helmet but what I, I'm thinking is is we're, we're getting for you know 59 60 dollars uh, some of them all the way up to uh, 79 or 80 are these different set piece heads um, from the Star Wars universe the first series came out and you had Darth Vader, the Scout Trooper, the TIE Fighter Pilot, and Boba Fett. Really cool. I will admit, I picked up the Boba Fett. I picked up Darth Vader. Um, I'm keeping Darth Vader as a collector piece. Uh, Boba Fett's one I built as a display piece. But I don't think I want to continue buying any more of these because I really have no interest in them. Um, I'm conflicted, you know, the light side and the dark side. So I picked up the last one that I think that I want out of the new series. Um, and what I'm majorly, unfortunately, gonna gripe about a little bit, you guys are gonna have to bear with me, is this year's 2022 helmets. The one that I did get is the Dark Trooper. So it is uh, set 75343 at 600. 93 pieces. It's just like all the other ones, 18 plus. I think this one's cool. I was a big fan of the Mandalorian series. Um, that being said, the other ones that came out of this year's series was the Red 5 helmet for Luke Skywalker. And then there was a Mandalorian helmet. Now, you're going to say, well, Josh, you literally just said you like the Mandalorian. You like that series. I did. What I don't like is that the Mandalorian helmet, if you look at it side by side to the Boba Fett, you can see that this is not really well thought out or made different. Uh, wanted to, you know, buy from somebody who already has one of the two because they are basically a recoloring, if you want to say, of the same helmet. Don't ask questions. Just consume product and then get excited for next products. So... I'm going to forego that one. Um, what I'd like to say to, you know, Star Wars Lego uh, executives, bring us back to the starships. Bring us back to the set pieces. Uh, if you got to go back to A New Hope, Empire Strikes Back, Return of the Jedi, Phantom Menace, Attack of the Clones, Revenge of the Sith. That's fine. Take us back there. Give us pieces from there that we might have missed. Or even recreations of ones that were done maybe without the new... I hate to say it, but Lego technology that we have now to do redone in 2022, 2023. If we're gonna continue with Helmet series, I don't know how much more I'll be actually involved with Star Wars Legos from them because it's just not something that really piques my interest. Very cool set pieces, I guess, if you just say you don't have a mantle and you wanna collect them all, fine and dandy. But me, I like to see them big star cruisers. You know, I wanna see X-Wings, TIE Fighters, you know, uh, Slave One, you know, Fire Spray, whatever you want to call it. I want to see those pieces. I don't want to see a helmet looking back at me. And especially, um, I'm just going to say it, I think the Red 5 Luke Skywalker helmet is horrible. It's just, it's just really bad. Um, there's no face into it. I know it's a helmet, but I don't know if they could have did that. Maybe they just shouldn't have made it. Just saying. Just saying. So, um... We'll go ahead and get this one unboxed for you. I want to thank everybody for continuing to hit that like button, leave comments below, um, subscribe, tell a friend, hit the bell for notifications. You guys have been great. We're growing the channel. We're getting to do some crazy things. Uh, Mastermind X in the Kitchen is always back with new videos. And we're going to start our summer vlogging series. Uh, hopefully get to some neat places to show you around Central PA if you're not local to us and why you should come to PA because you can't spell party without PA. All right, guys. Thanks a lot. Catch you on the flip side. Peace.